Aggression between the United States and Iran is affecting families right here in our region. Not on your sides. Courtney Francisco joins us now. And Courtney, you learned about those families today. And certainly, and this does not affect just those military families here. It could affect all of us. The Hamilton County Emergency Management Agency is preparing for cyber attacks. Deeper engagement with Iran means an impact on some American families. If things continue to heat up with Iran, if the spiral of conflict continues, then I think it's possible we might see Ohio families affected by it. Dr. Brendan Green has researched military affairs in the Persian Gulf region for two decades. The past 12 months, the United States has deployed 18,000 additional troops to the Persian Gulf region. Uh, and that number is increasing by an additional 4,500 over the next month, the Defense Secretary just announced. And so there are many military families in the region that may be called upon to deploy. And now local emergency management officials are concerned about direct threats that could affect every one of us here at home. Iran's principal um, threat against us is a cyber attack. Nick Crossley is the director of Hamilton County Emergency Management and Homeland Security. He spoke with us Wednesday, minutes after the FBI issued a warning. Now he's briefing agencies like Duke Energy, hospitals, oil and gas businesses. Not being able to access your cash because it's in the bank or not being able to get on the internet because it's down temporarily. These are things that could happen and what are you going to do if something like that happens? Dr. Green points out politicians are likely watching locals reaction since Ohio is an election battleground state. And while I think the people of the Midwest and Cincinnati in particular often appreciate a tough response initially, um, they're going to be very loath to support further deep engagement in Middle Eastern wars. Online, I learned about one Cincinnati man in Iraq who went to high school here. His family asked me not to release his name for his safety, but say they sincerely appreciate support.